we're going to cruise a little way along the Macclesfield Canal to get to the Marple Locks. We're not planning on going up the Marple Locks today. You've got to get there before, I think, 12 o'clock. And we've set off after 10 o'clock today. It was never the plan to go through them today, so. Yeah. Just a lift bridge, which was hard work. First thing in the morning. <laughs> We were thinking about staying where we were moored for another day or so but this morning we woke up and we were adrift because some little nuisances had come along in the middle of the night and pulled our pins out and thrown them into the canal so that was a little bit frustrating to wake up to so we thought we'll move on a bit further maybe get out of this kind of area the towpath here is quite busy so we'll just head towards the Marple Locks and find somewhere nice to moor up. they watch the boats go past. <laughs> making our way to the Marple Flight of Locks. We've got a couple of tunnels to go through, a couple of aqueducts to go over, and then we've got, I forget how many locks. 16 I think it was. 16 locks in the Marple Flight to do. And the plan is to turn onto the Peak Forest Canal and just do that for a couple of days before continuing south along the Macclesfield Canal. It's a really nice day to be cruising today as well. Yeah. The past couple of days have been very wet, a little bit windy. <laughs> so we've got some blue skies, some sunshine, it's a bit cool, but much nicer than cruising in the rain. Yeah.
on a train bridge. No, <laughs> like almost every time we're either past it or too far away from it to get the train and camera. But it's the first time it's come through at the perfect time. Yeah. So we've been through the two tunnels and we're coming up to the Marple Flight of Locks and we're going over the last aqueduct which is right next to the train aqueduct and just looking at it this feels really like there's another train rain! <laughs> that was busy! It feels so much like the Cherk aqueduct because we're on a yeah. water aqueduct and then there's a train aqueduct on that side of us. So. Well it's actually a train bridge wouldn't it? It wouldn't be in a train aqueduct. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Well, isn't an aqueduct going over water? Or is an aqueduct carrying water? Aqueduct is carrying water. Okay, aqueduct, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but it feels a lot like the Czech aqueduct here. We've done that. <laughs> last lock. We're almost at the top so we'll be heading into the last lock of the Marple flight and there is a mile marker here that's got the destination chiseled off and the lock keeper said that that's because during the Second World War um, they came along and chiseled off all the destinations so that any paratroopers who came in wouldn't be able to find their way as easily, wouldn't be able to navigate as easily so it's eight miles to somewhere. Shape. <laughs> it always goes hat shape. It does go hat shape. so much of it. Yeah. You don't understand having long hair, Maggie. <laughs> we decided to turn briefly onto the Macclesfield after we came through the top lock because we ran out of water this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to fill the kettle up. 
So would... we've been doing this without a cup of tea, it's just I not know. on. There's just there's not really any services on the Rochdale or on the Ashton, really. Oh, there was one, but we, we missed, we missed it. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's we, we totally it, missed yeah. it. So because of that, we ran out of water. So we really needed to move and we really need to just get to the services that are here on just past the top locks, just onto the Macclesfield. Yep. But there is a winding point. Just up ahead. Just up ahead, not very far at all, a couple yeah. of hundred meters. So, so we'll when we around. move, when we move next, we'll go up, we'll turn around, and then we'll go down the rest of the Peak Forest, yep. and then come back, come back. <laughs> and go continue south on the Macclesfield. It's not very long, so it'll probably be like a day. So it's, it's six miles to the end of the Peak Forest, yeah. so it'll There's be no nice locks to do it. Either, so. Just some swing and lift bridges. Yeah. So it'll be nice to do that. Yeah. yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Did you hear that duck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, nobody cares. <laughs>